<clears throat> Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today is a very special day. First of all, welcome to my kitchen. Second of all, I'm sorry for the mess. I don't really feel like cleaning up. I just made dinner. We're about to get a lot of different smells up in this kitchen. <laughs> Late or irrelevant. Or on. Hi, but today is just such a special day. Most people don't know. Um, well, today is, what's today's day, Ashley? What is it? The 20th. It is? Today is, of course it is. Today is August 20th, 2018. Now, if you don't, if, when you hear August 20th, and it doesn't ring a bell for the most amazing holiday in the world, I don't know what you're doing. But, yeah, today, August 20th, is a holiday. Not a holiday in the U.S. There's no big holiday going on in the U.S., no. But in Germany, I know, it's weird. In Germany is the most crazy, most fun holiday. Um, I don't know if you've heard it, it's called Litzenbergen Noggin. Um, <laughs> and I don't know, if you don't know what it means, look it up, um, or I can just tell you, it, it means Hitler is the devil. Um, so, in honor of our favorite holiday, our family will celebrate every year, we are making a German chocolate cake. This is definitely not an excuse just to make a German chocolate cake. <laughs> so, we have Miss Betty Crocker. She is um, behind the camera back there. Hi, Betty. She is actually sponsoring this video. Um, so, she is giving us this German chocolate cake for free and the new um, coconut pecan frosting that goes with the German chocolate cake. So we are so excited. So let's hop right in. First thing you gotta do is set your oven to 350 degrees. Next thing you gotta do is get a bowl. <laughs> I know, isn't that crazy? Did you see that angle? <laughs> so we have our silver bowl here. <clears throat> also, don't ask how I got that angle. So basically all the supplies you're going to need are three eggs, one half cup of vegetable oil, cholesterol free please, one and one fourth cup of water, which we'll get soon. Um, so what you want to do is get the amazing bag that Betty provides for you in every box. It comes in a bag, it doesn't even come just loose in the box, it's in a bag, which is really great, I love that. And then you're just gonna pour it into the bowl. I'm teaching this as if no one has ever made a Betty Crocker dessert in their life, um, because she is brand new, she's just up and coming, I don't know if you have heard of her before. Um, sorry, so, what, it went everywhere? Oh, scissors, thank you. Thank you, Betty. She's so smart. Um, and I'm just going to pour the mix into the bowl right here. Then you have to do this. She, Betty taught me this. got to shake it. That's it. Mercy, just... Combining. That, I, like, I, you know how long I took Chris to think of that word? And then you just have to combine all of the ingredients that you have. So that means three eggs. Betty also taught me how to crack an egg with one hand. <laughs> it was a long time ago when she taught me how to do that, but um, so got it. Okay, third time to charm. Please. Okay, you put your vegetable oil. You put your one and a fourth of cup of water. I never know how to say that. One fourth cup of water, one fourth of a cup of water, one and a fourth of a Okay, I'm gonna do more cool. So then you have to get either a, a electric mixer or you get um, a handheld mixer. That was like the most basic statement ever. Everyone knows that those are your two choices. I don't know why I just had to tell you that. But you're obviously watching this video because you need help, so, okay. So, so that's the sound of our oven. Um, I like to use a fork just because since they do have like little bristles, you do get everything in there, you know, um, better than um, any other mixing tool that you ever have. This actually, this fork is actually from Betty Crocker herself. Okay. 
Um, but yeah, so this holiday, like I said, Walk in Nuka Noggin is our favorite holiday. Um, my family and I, we celebrate it every year. I always miss school for it. I, I asked off work for it, so I didn't go to school, work. We stay in the house basically all day and we sit in like a really dark bathroom with no windows and then we take turns sticking each other's heads in the toilet. So I think you should all, <laughs> I think you should all try to, I know like not a lot of people are believers, um, but if you do become a believer in this holiday so you can celebrate it, um, you know, we go to a lot of meetings, just comment on this video, DM me, do really anything. I, I love talking about the holiday. Um, it's my favorite thing to talk about. Um, this is how you know like someone's like a real baker, like when they actually bake, because they do this. Okay, I've been missing for a pretty good 15 minutes. I think that's ready. Um, sorry, I didn't do that. The next step is to pour it into the pan. So we're gonna slide this one out of the way, replace it with our glass, pan cooking sheets. First we gotta spray the pan down, you know what I'm saying? So the next thing you're gonna do is obviously pour it in here. So the one thing that I make, I make desserts a lot, not as much as I used to, um, because my mom said I need to stop eating so much sugar. What? Yeah, I had a blood test. Sorry, Betty. Just reminding me of like the traumas in my life. Um, I had a blood test and my mom said, look. <laughs> I don't want to get so deep in this video, but you need to stop eating so much sugar. And um, by the way, can you mention how hit I look right now? <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, so you're just gonna, I'm very weak, so this is very heavy for me. Right? And Betty's hungry, baby. <laughs> Um, the only bad thing about using a fork is, as you can see, there's a lot of excess in there. There's a lot of excess in here, um, so the fork is kind of, you know, you're not really getting it out. So you try to, we do, we do your best, though. I mean, we do our best. I do my best. Betty does her best. I usually use my hands when I wash them, um, but I haven't washed my hands in a few days. Um, <laughs> Betty, stop. But anyway, the rest of that you eat yourself, you know. I can't believe I just did that. Why not? You want the rest of that? Hey, no, bro. It says don't eat it. Um, the most exciting part is cooking it. This is a 13 by 9. 30. To 35 minutes. <sighs> Betty, why? That's so long. Anyway, you put the thing in there for 30 to 35 minutes. <laughs> and we'll come back when it's ready. So you probably realize that it's a lot darker. Um, it's nighttime. It's been four hours. Um, <laughs> oh, I just got hit with that smoke. You gotta get your mother's best, your Sunday's best um, mitts. Coconut pecan icing or frosting, whatever. So obviously it's just a really interesting texture. Um, but yeah, in, in review, like today has been the best day of my life. Typically, August 20th of every year is the best day of my life, but 
Finally, we are figuring out whether this 12 hour process was worth it. Um, so let's get a little slice. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's so moist. I can't try to bring it up here. Maybe you can see it better. You can't really see like the inside, but it's, believe me when I say it's moist. Anyway, okay. Glass of milk. Okay, I'm like, I'm about to cry. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I love this. This is so good. Um, thank you, Betty, for sponsoring. Thank you, fat. God, that's a big piece, too. 